Hey guys, Michael here from MichaelSherlock.com. I want to finally talk about a, a long-seated rumor, which is no longer a rumor, the iCloud service from Apple. This, there have been rumors about this for so many months, especially after Google and Amazon both announced similar cloud streaming services. But today, which is the 31st, Apple actually sent out a little press release in completely un-Apple fashion and said, you know, at WWDC on June 6th, we're going to announce iCloud, we're going to announce and show iOS 5, and we're going to show off Mac OS 10 line. Completely out of the ordinary. Usually Apple keeps those things up their sleeves. Another thing they announced was that Steve Jobs will actually be making an appearance at WWDC. But this video is just about the iCloud service. So the only thing we know for a fact is that June 6th it's going to be announced. We don't know if it's going to be US only, we don't know if it's going to be international, we don't know really a lot. But let's just go through some of the, some of the rumors that we've seen to just get a feel for it. So first of all, one rumor that we've read a lot about is that the music labels, the four major music labels, have signed on. So what does this mean? This means that instead of having to have users upload their tracks, Apple is going to just be able to scan their music libraries and mirror those collections in the cloud. Now, the reason why Google and Amazon require you to upload the tracks is because they don't have licenses with the music partners, so they can't mirror them, but they can provide a service where you, the user, can upload your own track. That's sort of the difference here. Another, uh, one of the good things, though, about Apple's offering, besides the fact that it would just occur in the background and wouldn't require you to upload anything, is that low-quality tracks will actually be bumped up to a higher bitrate version, which is really good if you have songs coming from a lot of different sources, or you ripped some CDs and you did a terrible job and it just came out really bad. Another good thing about this for labels, even illegally obtained songs would be mirrored in the cloud. Um, so we're, this is probably going to cost a little bit of money, either a monthly service fee or a yearly fee, and this will actually allow labels to finally recoup some of those costs that were you know, stolen, illegally downloaded. I really, just as an aside, I think this is really the future. I think streaming services is really where we're going. I think the days of $99 or 99 cent a la carte songs is really kind of over. I think that stuff in the cloud is really, uh, you know, where it's going to be in the future. So once this stuff is in the cloud, what can you do with it? You can stream it to computers, iOS devices such as iPhones and iPads. I would actually say, though, I think that there's going to be other devices that this could stream to. Perhaps it could stream to your car. Perhaps it could stream to your home theater system. They have this AirPlay feature. Perhaps it'll be AirPlay compatible, and it can stream to anything as long as it's connected over the air. I think that's definitely where they need to go with this because, again, they are not inventing this streaming service. Amazon and Google have already done it. Pandora, Slack, or Radio, they are similar options for streaming. So Apple needs to do something where it's really easy for the consumer to get into, hence the just scanning the library and mirroring it. And then it's really easy for it to stream to all your devices so you can hear all your music wherever you are. I think that's uh, something as well. Now, we've just been talking about music, but this isn't called iMusic or iCloud Music. This is called iCloud. So I'm going to go out on a little limb here and say it's possible that you know you could stream videos as well. I think this would really be a logical thing for Apple because if they're going to have one of their major pillars of digital media consumption being music and being able to stream that willy-nilly, I think that it would kind of be a good thing, maybe not at launch, but in the future, to have videos being streamed as well, especially when internet connections and the infrastructure continues to build up you know, you'll be able to access your videos wherever you are. I think that's going to be something pretty nice. Now, we've been talking about pricing. Obviously, this can't. This probably won't be a free feature. Google and Amazon, again, were able to offer basically free services because they didn't sign any music licensing deals to actually offer this. Apple, on the other hand, is said to have paid money for the music labels to get this. So I would, I'm thinking that they're probably going to you know, combine this with mobile me. So keep it at that $99 a year price point, get all the mobile me services, which I hope they actually refresh and bump as well at WWDC, and include that iCloud service as well. That would kind of make a real kick-ass feature set for mobile me and would definitely make it a, a solid purchase. Now, we also don't know how many songs you can have in the cloud, but the reason why I think it would probably be something like unlimited is because Apple only has to store one copy of the song on their server and then just stream it to everybody that has that song in their music library. So it would make sense to me if they offered this mirroring service completely free. 
And another thing that I think would be kind of interesting is if this was almost a backup. Let's say your computer completely died. You only have one computer, you didn't back it up, it died. Wouldn't it be nice if from Apple servers you could re-download your music? I think that would be something extremely cool, and I don't, that's a complete speculation on my part. I haven't read any rumors that say you will be able to do that. I just think that would be an exceptionally cool feature for Apple to offer with iCloud. You know, I'm, I want to ask you, I want to toss this question to you. Are you excited about iCloud? Is there a certain feature that you really hope is in this launch that would make it worthwhile? Do you think that, all right, I'm kind of tired of these streaming services, iCloud, eh, whatever. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments section below. I'm Michael Sherlock from MichaelSherlock.com. Thanks for watching, guys and have a nice day.